What is up guys, Zach Scott here, playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. My house has now been located uh, to this part of the neighborhood. Fantastic, fantastic. I'm getting a late start, it's 11.31 right now. Uh, I'm getting a late start because of the fact that, uh, well, honestly, I was really busy getting up the animation. I didn't do any of the animation work myself, but please go check out the animation. That animation, uh, the Animal Crossing New Horizons animation that James Farr did is fantastic. Dolly. Thought you might like this. Hope you enjoyed. Dolly, thank you so much. Uh, let's open that up. She's from Besed. <laughs> this is for your TV debut. Subscribe, Zack Scott Games. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Uh, let's see what this is. And then uh, Nook Shopping Only Me. Yes. So uh, right now, my uh, Nook area, uh, unfortunately, is closed. I can't go shop. But I can, I can, go, to the, uh, I can go to the resident services and get stuff. So what did B-Bell send me here? They both sent me a TV camera. Boom, nice. Awesome, thank you so much, B-Bell. And then Dolly sent me what? A uh, palm tree lamp, do I not know this? I know this one, oh man, darn, darn. Well, thank you though, thank you though. I'll put it over here for the public to get. Whoever comes over to my server next can have a palm tree lamp drop item. So, uh, yes, I've been working a little bit on my island. As you can see, the neighborhood is now, the placement's complete. My neighborhood isn't complete because I gotta put decorations and stuff here. But the placement's complete. And I'm gonna try to get this episode out tonight. I hope I can. It's late already and I apologize. I think I have enough hermit crabs though uh, for another sculpture as soon as Flick comes back. I don't know who's here. KK's here, that's who's here. I don't know if anyone else is here, I doubt it. But KK's here, the neighborhood's up here. This is the boardwalk area, only two stores, so that's all they have now. Uh, and then KK's up there with his songs. And Amelia's here. Amelia, I haven't talked to you lately. Zach, I'm so happy to see you again. It's practically a reunion, my dear. I hope you remember our time at the campsite as, I, as fondly as I do. I suppose you must, seeing how you invited me to move here. Anywho, this island's population has just gone up by one. Now, well, this population is the same. But <laughs> anyway, let's see if Astoria is ready for an eagle like moi. I hope so. I hope I hope we're, we're really ready. So Timmy and Tommy's is closed. I'm getting such a late start on today's episode. But what I want to do is I want to spruce up a little bit of the main area. Um, also get ready to put I don't know what I'm going to put in, but we'll get ready. i got to check on this for my daily 300. I don't want to break this streak or I no longer get the 300 each and every day. I have to build up again. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, look at Nook Shopping. Uh, just to see what's what. Lawnmower, mountain bike. I think I already have those things. KK Western. Let's see if I have KK Western already. I always check this. Um, let's see, it starts with a K, and then, then, then another K, then a Western. I do not have it, so yes, let's go ahead and, and just purchase this, this will ship to me later. We're good, we're good, right? I think so. And then that means Able Sisters is also closed. So, we're fine, uh, but now, uh, what do we do about this neighborhood? Well, I've been thinking about what to do about it, in terms of how do I decorate it? What do I do? I don't know the answer to that. And so I'm gonna need your ideas. Maybe, maybe I won't. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna want your ideas for how to decorate this area. I'm thinking about putting trees on every property uh, simply just to make it look a little better. Like I could go in here and like I could just drop down a tree right here. I already dug some up. Uh, I don't know how to do it. Hold on, let's see. Do I look at it over there then plant it? There we go. That's a tree, I could put a bush here, I could put things in front of it. But then like, you know, if I wanna start shaking the trees and getting stuff, like look, I can already get sticks and stuff from this one. You know what I'm saying. But I could put trees here to make it nicer. And uh, that won't interfere with the view, I don't think, if I'm over here. Uh, that doesn't really interfere with the view, but it makes the view look a little more cozy. Apollo, nice, just getting started. I wanna chat. Now, did I turn off the stove before I left home? That's assuming I have a stove at home, mind you. Pretty sure I got a home, at least. <laughs> yeah, he's right in front of it. So this is Amelia's home. This is Marshall's home. So let's see what, what... Marshall gave me a, a, one of his coffee grinders. I wonder if he still has it. Let's see what he has in his area. Looking good. So yeah, he's got a, he's got a good lineup of things here. And in fact, I don't even see him with the coffee grinder. I could probably give him one. Maybe he'll put it on the shelf. I don't know if he'll decorate nicely or not, or if he'll just like throw it in the corner. Good evening, Salky. I'll be your fabulous host. Let's talk. I should really be getting to know people here a little better, starting with you. Am I right or am I right? I'm right. Let's see, Zach. 
Where should we begin? What kind of career do you see for yourself, Saki? You know, in our, if our artisan orange waffle stand doesn't work out. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah, she's yelling, do YouTube. Uh, YouTube's not here. Fashion designer, school teacher, or musician? I think musician, because I do put out music videos on my YouTube channel. I don't know if you've seen any of the rap songs I've done, but I'll say musician. This must be fate. I'm also an aspiring musical phenomenon, and I just happen to be looking for potential new members for my band, Zach. We've already got a manager, a publicist, a stylist, and a name. Sulky Revolution. <laughs> All we need now is someone with musical talent, Sulky. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I can fulfill that, but maybe. So yeah, so knowing what he would like, you know, he might like some coffee related things out in front of his house, you know. Um, also, I don't know if I should be putting all the same trees or if like I should maybe be putting, instead of like, you know, hardwood trees on everything, I could put um, perhaps, I don't know. And I'm just gonna put this on one row and see how this looks. Let me move up just a little, move up just a little bit. I don't know guys, what do you think? Plant. And then also, you know, should I move up the area a little bit or should I start putting street lights here? I could put street lights on each and every corner. That wouldn't look too bad. That would be a lot of work. A lot of Nook Mile Redemption, rather. But I think this looks pretty good. And then, you know, maybe putting bushes or flowers or or anything. And maybe I don't even need to decorate in terms of putting something that, something that they'll like. I could just put something that, you know, something that makes sense, maybe. I don't know. I do not know. Um, but I need to pick a flower for everyone. Like, what's everyone's favorite flower? You know what I mean? Then I, then I can make really decorate. But not until I really start start with the flowers. You know, like really start replicating flowers, which might not be too long from now. Um, my crafting area is over here. Let me make some more iron fences. Pengo, what's up? How are you doing, Snoof? Let's chat. My schedule for today is packed. I got a monster movie on TV, a video game to play, music to jam to. All nighters are okay a couple of nights a week, right? Every night, baby. All right, and then uh, no one's visiting my campsite, of course. Uh, but we do need more iron fencing, probably. Actually, let me go see how much iron fence I actually have. Uh, it's at my home. My home is no longer over here, but I was, I was working on the waterfall. I was actually, this, this needs to go here. I need to plant this and get it out of here quickly. There we go. I dug up a thousand bells, thus I plant uh, ten thousand bells. We know this routine. And bury in the hole. And then can I dig it back up immediately? There we go. Yeah, there we go. I'll put that somewhere. I don't know where. And I don't know if I should have access to the trees or, or what. You know, like how easy should the money tree be to get to? No clue. But I was working on this waterfall area over here, and I uh, then it I was, I was doing this last night. And then it reached five in the morning, like the alarms are going off, so I just did save. But I pretty much have got it. I have to know, though. Oh, my, my bushes are almost there. I have to know. Are there ever gonna be fish in here? Like, did I mess something up? You know what I mean? Like, or are there gonna be fish here? Because I haven't seen any fish in the top of here. And so, I gotta know. Let's put that there. I gotta know. Let me know where can I, I mean, I could try fish food. That would make sense. But I mean, are fish gonna show up here naturally? I feel like they should. Is that big enough? I think it is. Anyway, let's go ahead and we'll enter the construction mode on my phone because I'm trying to uh, get this area symmetrical. I've almost done it. And uh, let's start construction. I did one hole. And thus, uh, check this out. We're gonna go to the water. That's one, two, three, four. Beautiful, right? And thus, uh, that brings us to our next task, which would be making uh, the same thing over here that we did there. And what we have here is we have it curving around, following through, for the most part, four. And we also keep one, okay, yeah, so okay. So this, is, this is what I'm doing, basically, and I hope that this works out. But we were also widening this by four, right? I think so. So what we're doing here, uh, this is this is four. Hold on, let's count. All right, here we go. So this is the spot. So that's uh, here. We cut it in. One, two, three, and then thus this is four. So that is four right there. There we go, there we go. 
So, uh, I could probably get rid of these turnips. I could probably get rid of a bunch of stuff now that, you know, I'm trying to uh, clear this area out for us. And I don't really know. I mean, I know these things can go. Those don't stack, do they? But we can get these flowers moving. There we go. And this is going to be fun. We're going to put up a bridge and get the bridge ready to go. But I want to end the episode by having KK play Animal City, which is the third and final exclusive song that I need to learn or need to get, you know. And so that's how we'll end today's episode. I always forget to go to this section. Here we go. Water. We're dealing with water. All right. There we go. And we'll figure out how to make this actually connect later. But then we want to do four across over here. That's two, three, four. Wait, right? One, yeah. Yeah, yeah. One. Okay, got it. We got it. We no, no need to worry. Two. Three. Yeah. Four. And so basically, we want this to equal, uh, you know, the rest of it. And we want this river to go all the way up. But really, you know, as I said, step at a time, right? I don't necessarily need to go all the way up on this. Uh, I can build a bridge without doing that. But it would feel good just to get some, you know, get it out of the way. Just to get it done. And so, by terraforming this, by getting it symmetrical, by doing all this stuff, you know, I think we're making some good progress. There we go. And then, uh, sure enough, we're probably going to have uh, the bridge. So we know where the bridge is going to go. We need to find a place for all these flowers. It is ridiculous how many flowers I have right now. And I need a place for them all. And so let's just start planting. All right. I got a bunch of stuff to throw into. Yeah, tulips, tulips over here, these are looking good. All right, and also we can check on um, yeah, no fish over here. We can check to see if there's there are any message in the bottles. You know what I mean? That there we go, we got one. And then let's open this up. It's from Roscoe. Wooden plank sign. I don't. Wow. I learned for a wood, wooden plank sign. What is that? Do I not? How do I not already have that? What? Do decoration wood? Oh, this. Weird. That's not what I wanted. Is this? That's not even customizable. Huh? Wooden plank sign. Deer decoration. That's cool. This is all the new stuff. Armor shoes. Ironwood chair. Uh, I learned a lot, a lot of this at uh, I think Mouse's house. Ashley sent me this. This is a cardboard chair. <laughs> I also got the rover and the moon recently. These are all new. I don't know how new, new they are. I can make the moon now, Ashley. Ashley came in here. Spying on me in my town. <laughs> so, um, what am I going to do? Anyway, I do hope you guys go watch the animation. And be sure to leave a like on it. It already has over 2,000 likes in just, uh, what? In just a couple hours. Ashley says it's good. I do want this here, I think. Do I, though? I don't know. It doesn't really matter to me. Why did it go the other way? Perfect. Not really. That's good enough. I don't even think I want this here anymore. But I'm keeping it there because that's where it was. And this is, uh, here. We can, what we can do, we can get more trees. Uh, I can get, like, what? A couple more trees to put in for my neighborhood? And then, uh, I need to eat these first, though. Eat one. Yum. No. Dang it. 
All right, need another one. Yum. Yum. <laughs> All right, now I can dig up three trees. So here's one. And this will just go in another row uh, in my neighborhood. And uh, I think this is gonna look good. But also, I'm not 100% sure. But also, I can finish up uh, digging, digging this area, building the next bridge that we're gonna have. And then really start thinking about what I'm gonna put up here, because I don't know. There's a lot to think about. But uh, as long as this goes up here, this should be good. Pang goes there. And we do gotta keep it. Do we have it like this on the other side? I could go check. But let's, uh, we need to get rid of this tree too. But this is an orange tree. So we'll just chop down this tree. I can definitely get more oranges and plant new orange trees. I completed something though. Let's see. Yeah, how did I handle this over here? Did I, let's go take a peek over here really quick. And then before it's all over, we want to, uh, what time is it? I don't know when he leaves. Let's see, so we do have this, yeah, we put flowers there. So, but there's only one, uh, that's interesting, there's only one spot. Is that how it's supposed to be? Let's find out really quick. I'm trying to see what I got going on here. What time does he leave? It's okay, all right. Why is there two spots? Oh, you know why? Because I probably have an extra spot up, up here. Yeah, that, that makes sense. So let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, I know what I'm doing. Boom, that's how it's done. That way I can actually put the, uh, put the fencing over there. And then uh, we dig the water. And we dig the water all the way up. So you know what I'm saying? We, we have it like up to here. This part isn't super important for the bridge, but it, again, it'll be nice to have and nice to be completed. And we're really in the phase of the game where, like, all I'm doing is terraforming and, and make... Oh, there is a fish up there. Nice. Terraforming and making things look nice. So I hope you guys enjoy this part of the game. No. I could do that, but no. And then, uh... There we go. So anyway, we know that this is one, two, three. We need to go one over. So that means uh, me taking this down a notch. And this is about what it's gonna look like, I think. Too close to the tree, I think, is what it said. Weird, okay. But that was three, and then this is gonna be four. I think this will look good. Yeah, if I look good, I mean, it's gonna be functional. <laughs> so there we go, this will go all the way down there. And thus, uh, we're gonna have ourselves a nice little river area. Now, I don't need to take this all down now, but just having the, the placement is good to know. Because I will probably round that part out. And, uh, yeah, this is good, this is good. I don't need to get rid of this tree. That was, was that an orange tree or not? I don't know. Anyway, you guys see what's happening. And thus, uh, I too am happy with this, I think. I right, build this back because we need to. Uh, we need to put this back. There we go. All right, and now uh, and look how close everything is. Like I need to do something about this waterfall over here. You can't have too much water, right? 
And then, yeah, what we want to do is we want to dig that and make sure that it works. And then, uh, also here, we need to move this really quick, because... And then I'll destroy that rock as well, probably. Do I need to... Yeah, I need to eat, eat an orange. But, uh, in terms of this road that, that we're going to have going on, and we know what this is like, uh, what am I doing? And I don't know what's going to be on the, on the other side of the bridge. That's the other thing. Like, in terms of the symmetry, I don't really know what's going to be on the other side of this water canal. Um, probably a, maybe a flowery farm or something. <sighs> I just don't know. Uh, it's, it's really interesting how much closer everything is. But yeah, I really don't know. Um, let's pull up the texture that we have here. So we want to, uh, from this point, because we had it, uh, like this. We're leaving that space, because we arched it up on the other side just like this and so we're gonna make a path all the way over here I don't need to quite break that rock yet but this path is gonna go all the way over here and then we're gonna leap across with a bridge in a second and uh, what time does KK if, if KK leaves I don't know what time does KK leave Ashley let me google it let's see what time does KK Slider leave town? Uh, from 8 p.m. to midnight. Oh, that's Wild World. Um, KK Slider. Uh, hold on, we're getting down to Animal Crossing New Horizons. It doesn't even say, uh, uh, dude, it doesn't say. Hey, Google, what time does KK Slider leave in Animal Crossing New Horizons? From 6 p.m. to when? Okay, whatever. I can't, I, I don't know why the phone being so unreliable it just tell me whatever but what I'll do here I'll have it play now and I'll put this at the end of the episode regardless of what time it is right so let's request a song from him now this song will play at the end of the episode it's almost roundup time so you mind if I start strumming hold on hold on thanks but not I can't request it wait hold on so, you in the mood for a tune? Let's hear it. Cool, cool. Any request? I can dial up an old favorite, or you can just tell me how you're feeling, I'll groove on it. So yeah, give me that one song. This is going to, going to be Animal City. And he's going to know about this, so... Um, animal... He does leave at midnight, so I'm pretty sure. Animal... City. All right, hey, look who's plugged into the code machine. How did you know my secret song? This is my third and final secret song. We're gonna get this at the end uh, of the video. Uh, I'm gonna take a seat now, but I'm gonna put this at the end of the video. All right, guys, KK Slider is now gone. It's past midnight, and thus, uh, hey, Amelia's still here. What's up? I wonder how many times we're going to run into each other today, cuz I wanna chat. What's the most important thing you can take into consideration when you're picking out new clothes? Uh, style, hello. I read somewhere that the way you pick up clothes says a lot about the way others see you. You choose based on style, so I bet people see you as someone who's really cool and in tune with trends, yep. You must stand out at work or school, right? Yep, I bet everyone wants to be like you, yep. <laughs> or was she, was she insulting me? Was she being like super sarcastic? I just wasn't seeing it at the time? Maybe so. Well, we gotta talk to Tom. I got, I think, enough stuff uh, to get started on that bridge project. And uh, I've also managed my inventory. He gave me a copy of Animal City that's in my uh, inventory. We'll play Animal City at the end of this. Don't forget. And so I let's talk infrastructure. Let's build another bridge here. We're going to do the Zen Bridge. I'm talking about bridges. I'm talking about Zen Bridge. we got to get something done a day, basically. Let's build a bridge. And I know exactly where this bridge is going to go. And thus, uh, we hopefully we won't have to rebuild this several times like we did before. But we're talking about the Red Zen Bridge. And I'm sure. Let's do it. 
and then uh, location, and we got it. So uh, I'm just gonna finish up a few things around here, and then I'll let you guys listen to Animal City, which is a good song, the, K the KK Slider original. And uh, let's go, where are we going? Where are we headed here? So we built this path all the way out here, but we still need it to be, uh, you know, we know how this works, right? We still need this to be destroyed, demolished, this section over here, so that we can have uh, some some space to deal to work with, right? There we go. And uh, it's good if you can do it in like a set order. <laughs> if it was Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, yep. Perfect. Wow. Okay, well, I don't even know. Okay. I do wish there was like a marker that showed you which one you were about to break through. Because it's annoying otherwise if you miss. But we're basically almost done with this, right? We got a beautiful river going on. I just don't know. You know, we don't need, the way that it was, you know, we can finish this out right here. And I don't even know how I'm gonna handle this. I might get rid of that waterfall. I might, I don't know what I'm gonna do. That's the thing. I don't know what I'm gonna do on this side of the town. All I know is that like, I wanted a nice little area up front here. And I just don't know how we're going to accomplish that. I don't know what it's gonna look like going forward. Come on, don't leave that there. This bridge, I mean, will be here within a matter of hours because it's midnight, so we're talking five hours from now, it'll be here. Another violin beetle. And thus, uh, you know, we might want to um, go to the textures. You know, we're talking about uh, we don't know what type of, I mean, it, it was bricks before. I don't know what it's gonna be now. On the other side is what I mean. But yeah, let's just make it uniform for now. We can change it up later. But for now, yeah, let's, say, let's say it's bricks. Let's say it's gonna be bricks over here. Because it was bricks last time. And, uh, you know, we truly don't know. But that's a good, that's a good enough idea of what it's like. And, uh, so yeah, the bridge is going to go here. And I think it's going to look great. That's it. Let, let me imagine it, but that's it. There we go. Okay. And then I pay him the money. And then all is well in the world. And he needs 228. I have 297. So let's pay him. Sure, I'll help. Dang it. I backed out accidentally. Ah, okay. Go back in. That was a mistake. My part. All right. We understand. All right. I'll help. I'm going to say as much as possible. There we go. Donate. And now uh, we're gonna have another uh, nice little area of transportation here. And you know, we don't fully know how it's gonna look or how it's gonna go. Uh, but I don't, I mean, I don't fully know how this is gonna look or go, but basically I think this is about it. And this is gonna be interesting in the sense of, uh, the other one still curves around a little bit. I'll probably straighten it out, but I wanted to see what it looks like without it curving. And so uh, this is what that's gonna look, look like probably. And then I can do something in the corner here and then break it down and then that'll be a kind of a rounded area. And that I think to me looks pretty good. And now it's seriously, for, for me, it's just gonna be a, a matter of how do I handle this? How in the world do I handle this? All right. Oh, no, that's not even it. 
<laughs> that's that's a bit farther back. So yeah, look at this. So this is here. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna build this all the way up. So that we're gonna cut this. I I got so confused with the line up there. But check this out. This is gonna be like a more straightforward canal, I think. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. And then we'll round this part off over here. There you go, right? I think that looks pretty good. And then this is some serious pro. What? How'd I do that? I threw up a piece in the middle of the thing. Anyway, this is some, to me, some serious progress. And I might make, I mean, I probably will end up making the other canal like this. I'm gonna maybe start, stop calling these rivers because they're more like canals. And, uh, you know, maybe we'll offshoot a river off of one of them one day, but for now they're canals, basically. And I've seen a lot of five-star islands that look like this, and so I'm not too worried about it. But uh, this is looking good. I think this looks good. And sure enough, we know we have like room for like what one or two more stores if they're here. Uh, maybe just one. This truly is like a boardwalk. And then uh, over here, we have room for probably like three or four. You know, if we get more. So yeah, looking at this, you know, we're talking about doing some form of symmetry. With this coming across here, we have neighbor a neighborhood. Over here, though, we're going to have something totally different. I don't know what it's going to be. I was thinking about the flower farm or maybe something small like a tree farm at first and then maybe expanding into flowers up top. I don't know. I really don't know. And uh, But we're talking about over here across the bridge, right? And then uh, how, did I round it off? Over, I think I rounded it off over here, too. So we're talking about, uh, you know, maybe doing this. There you go. Yeah, just rounding off that. This is, yeah, this is pretty crazy. All right. So I hope you guys like what's happening here. As far as this part goes though, you know, I'm pretty sure we had the iron coming up. Well, I'll double check over here. Yeah, I'm gonna need to fix that over there. But the iron fencing went over this way. And we could at least make that part kind of uniform. These bushes are still growing. I can move them, I guess, but I mean, I'm, I'm in no real hurry. I am in a hurry, though, to get some more trees relocated, just so I have a better plan of what's going to happen. So right here, uh, you know, we're talking the iron fence all the way through. That should be easy enough. And then the iron fence going around there like that. That looks good to me. And so I'm going to try to make that happen really quick. I just don't know, you know. We'll, we'll wait for these bushes to mature before disturbing them too much. But, uh, so yeah, so we're talking iron fencing. So, I have 10 right now. So we throw one there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And yeah, we're going to have more than 10. That's okay, because we can go craft it. Uh, my crafting area is over here now, right? Yeah, yeah, so I built this area, and there's no good way down. I'll probably have to have a path down, but really, I think I'm gonna raise all this up. So, that's gonna be a lot of work, off-camera work. Maybe I'll just do a video of me doing it, maybe like put it on my members only, I don't know, because it's gonna be really tedious. I don't know. It's gonna be one of those things where it's like, do I really wanna make a bunch of boring videos? Uh, eat this. Yum. I left a rotten turnip, I guess. Eat that. I get more trees for my, uh, my neighborhood. Yeah, we don't have to finish the tree part today. But, uh, basically what I was doing is I was moving things like this, you know, out of the way. And eventually some of these trees will be, some of these... Uh, uh, whoa! Look at that guy. Let me catch this. This would be something to save for, uh, save for flip. Because I don't have a lot of these anymore. The Atlas Moth, very pretty. And then uh, we'll dig this up. And again, we might, you know, I might like the pine trees better, I don't know. And plus I've heard that you can have too many trees, so that's another issue, it's like, well, I don't want too many trees. Uh, so let's dig this. Let's dig up all the 
non-orange trees that we can find. See, I got four. I wish you could eat all these at once, you know what I mean? There we go. All right. This part is a little bit tedious. <laughs> I need to make my iron fence, that's right. But we're gonna dig up like what? Another six trees if we can. We might accidentally start digging up some orange trees that we're not aware of. But I don't know if I, how many orange trees I want just out and about, you know? I kinda like the idea of having them kinda centralized in a section. Frankly, I don't know exactly everything I'm digging up here. <laughs> Did not mean to scare you away. I don't know what this is, but let's go for it. All right, what, what do we got? How many how many regular trees do we have? Okay, most of the, the most of the, I only got one that was an orange tree. So basically, yeah, these are gonna go over here, and I think this is a good look for them. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I think that this is pretty good. And you know, uniformity is kind of what I'm going for, it seems. Uniformity. Um, but having, I think, having the trees over here makes them look nice. I don't know why I'm always having difficulty. There you go. I think it really spruces up the neighborhood, so to speak. There we go. And I think we've made a lot of progress today, too, by the way. Nothing to plant there. Really? Come on. There we go. And I'll figure out, you know, I need to figure out what goes in their yard. Maybe it's just flowers. Maybe it's bushes. I don't know. You know maybe I don't try to cater too much to their individual needs. And they, they can have their individual things on the inside. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, come on. There's su such a peculiar placing here. Here we go. I think this is making the neighborhood look done. Every every house in my neighborhood has to have a tree. So, one time my tree died. I don't know why. I didn't kill it. it wasn't me. I'm not the suspect. But uh it died. And I had to get a new one. And they sent, like, the Neighborhood Association sent me a letter. So this is a, this is intriguing. How is this going to play out? I could put several trees in my area. But just one seems fine. I wanted to have a pond. I don't know how... You know, maybe I'll just put a pool instead of a pond. But this is nice. I could put... I could go ahead and also put a tree here as if, you know, as if I know what I'm doing. Hold on. Can I put it close to the house? Like, right next to the house? No, I can't. I can't do that. It's okay. But, you know, we'll figure something out. I think this makes the neighborhood look a lot nicer, a lot more complete. Having these trees. Look, now just a stroll through here. Flowers are going to make it look even better. Uh, this is this is really coming along, I think. And I don't know, you know, if I'm going to have flowers all around, around here or what. What all did I finish today, by the way? I've done a lot of work today. On my neighborhood. So let's see. We got chopping trees down. I chopped one tree down. That's all I did. There's a, I could get a prize for the balloon if I could find that balloon. I heard him. Apollo's getting his stretches in. So yes, this is looking good. I can now delete this. Here, let's let's delete this little hop over. Which I think was useful and it still actually probably is useful, but at the same time. If I really wanted something there, I could put a bridge. If I really, really cared, I could put a bridge from here to here, and we would just have a lot of little areas. You know, I don't know. Could work, but I don't think I want that, because I think that this is gonna be a boardwalk eventually. And I think it's looking good. And the other area is gonna be looking good too, and we're gonna finish this area up here uh, to make it look as good as it can be for the moment. Uh, via, wait, I meant to, oof, I meant to go, I meant to go make some more iron things, right? 
Here we go. Climb down. I don't know why I held it. There we go. So, uh, let's see. Make some more iron fencing. Did I not make it already? I guess I didn't. Let's craft. There's a bunch of fencing here. Bop, 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 bop. There we go. Am I making tin here? Let's just let's make tin. I probably won't be using iron fencing much other than this, so let's just keep it easy. I'm gonna go back up here. Two layers, keep in mind. This is gonna take care of itself eventually. I'm gonna fix this up eventually. We're gonna make it look nice, and there's indeed a fish there. And so, let's see what we got. We got uh, iron fencing starting here. All right. All right, there we go. Ta-da! Everything's perfect, right? I think so. I think that looks great. Uh, then we'll get this area. I don't know what's going to go over here. Maybe like a cafe or something with a dining area on the bottom too. I don't know. This is going to be a really giant project for me. But I think ultimately it's going to look good. And I think right now, you know, we're pretty much done with today's episode. I did a lot today. Pashmina, what's up? Got to stop and smell the flowers now and then, you know. Running around everywhere will wear you out. Don't you think, kidders? All right. I don't know. But thank you guys for watching. Got my neighborhood pretty much done. I mean, for the most part, you know, done, right? Also got uh, another bridge in the works. Got my house moved. This neighborhood's looking good, right? I mean, you guys have got to be impressed with the neighborhood, right? <laughs> is this a moth? What is that? Is that just a moth? Well, I'm going to catch this. It looks like a regular moth. Just got to know. Yeah, it's a moth. All right. So thanks for watching. Um, let me know if you have any ideas for what else could go in the neighborhood, you know. Uh, but this is looking great. I, I might put a pond or a swimming pool or something here. Or maybe a community area. I don't know. But also there's plenty of room down here for community area as well. Uh, just going to be like kind of what it, you know what I want to put here. And right now, you know what? Let's let's uh, since I'm here, let's just let's just finish this up. Let's uh, round this off as best as we can. Because uh, you know how it goes. There we go. Yeah, I'm, I want you to build there. <laughs> He's like, "What? Nothing's here." I'm like, "I know." I want you to fix this up. So there we go. This is how this looks. That's not bad. Hold on. I was trying to fix this. So there we go. Now we got canals. Let's look at the map really quick. There are the canals at work. I think that looks good. Let me see. Let me look at the map big time. No, 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 no. Hold on. Let me look at the map on my phone. I was trying to look at the one in the corner, but I can pull up a bigger one on my phone. Uh, map. Yeah, how do I get it from stopping showing? Okay, so, yeah, that looks great, right? I mean, they got two canals. They're about as symmetrical as you can get. Keep in mind, uh, though, that, <laughs> you know, wh one is way over, way over close to the, to the mouth of the river. The other is a little bit farther away from the mouth of the river. But as far as canals go, centralized area is looking pretty good. And uh, there's going to be bridges there. And I think overall that, that this is going to be a good look. I think. And basically, if I'm looking at it right now, which I am, yeah, I think this is looking good. It's just going to be a matter of what do I end up putting in some of these places, you know? I think this is the main thing. Like, what am I, what am I, what am I going to end up doing here? And I haven't quite figured that one out yet. But I hope to... And I hope that you guys uh, enjoy what I've done so far, what, I, what I'm going to keep doing. And um, I'm, tr I'm trying to think myself what I'm going to put on top of the uh, museum area. What I'm, what I'm going to put next to it. Maybe a cafe. Um, and then... Yeah, to me, this looks pretty good. And I got the pretty good-looking neighborhood there. 
I might seriously just put a tree or cherry farm over to the right side. Or at least start it. I mean, not cherry. Flower farm. That might be where my flower farm goes. Maybe. It'll be beachside. I don't know. I think I got my neighborhood area pretty squared away, though. I gave them ample space. I probably didn't have to do that. Oh, look. I already see something that I needed to fix. Where are we? So, yeah. Like, we have, we have good spacing here. Right? I probably didn't need to have it so spacious, but I think it looks good. I think the more trees and, uh, not trees, but flowers and, and stuff and the fencing that I can put here, the better my island's rating will be. I'm curious what Isabel would rank my island now. Did I make it to four stars yet? I don't know. I doubt it. But uh, let me go ahead and fix this up really quick on my house. And I can also move my uh, mailbox now. I don't know where I would put it, but I can do it. There we go. Getting this path. Oh, I do need to move my mailbox if I want this path here. Or at least if I want to make the path initially. There we go. And then what? We just put the mailbox down here. Not quite, but here, let me, uh, huh. What? Can I not move it at all? Hold up. Can I not like seriously move the mailbox? All right, that's a pretty good place for it. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And then, um, the interesting thing is I do have an extra spot over here, which might be a good spot for the mailbox, honestly. But we're keeping it here for now. We're, we're keeping it there for now because that's where it's always been, ish. So yes, looking good, looking good. Thanks for watching. Now let's hear KK Slider uh, play us out with Animal City. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop.